Okay, brilliant. So when you're ready, we're going to come and sit cross-legged on our mat or any other comfortable sitting position if cross-legged isn't comfortable. Root down through the sit bones, lengthen tall through the spine. Shoulders down the back as you inhale, reach the arms up. And a big breath out as you exhale, lower the hands through the heart. Again, inhale to take the arms up, keep the shoulders down. Rooting through the sit bones and exhale, bringing the hands down through the heart center. One more time, root through the sit bones, inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower the hands through the heart. Morning, guys. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, reaching over to one side. Inhaling to come back through to center. Exhaling, reaching to the other side. Good, couple more. Inhale. Exhale, keep the sit bone grounded, turning the heart up. Over to the other side, shoulders down the back, sit bones grounded. Once more, each side. And as you're ready, we're going to come back to center. We're going to take the legs out wide. If you need to sit on a block or a cushion, that's not a problem. If you prefer to have your knees bent, that's also not a problem. Interlace your fingers, we're going to inhale, right foot to the left. Exhale, belly to the spine as you circle back. Inhaling, right foot to left. Exhale, belly to spine as you circle back. Now continuing, like you're sparing a big pot of soup. Inhale forward, exhale back. And then as you're ready, we're going to change the direction of our circles, left to right. Inhale forward, exhale back. Reaching left to right as you inhale, exhale back. Don't worry if you were a minute or two late. Just well done for getting here. Couple more times. Inhale, reaching forward, exhale back. Last one. And come back to center. Great. Root through the sit bones. Inhale, reach the arms up. You can have your knees bent, shoulders down the back, lift, press the palms up, draw the baby fingers back. One more breath, lengthen, lengthen the spine. Keep that length through the spine as you exhale. Now reaching forward. And of course, make any adjustments, any variations that work for you. Knees bent, sitting on a block, a cushion, anything that you need. It's quite early. So listen to your body as it's starting to wake up. Shoulders down the back, reaching forward with the heart. A couple more breaths, stretching the legs, stretching the spine, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. One more deep breath. Great. As you're ready, inhaling to take it up. Drawing the legs together, right shin in front of the left cross leg. Right shin in front of the left cross leg. Left hand onto the right knee, right fingertips behind your back. Press through the sit bones, lift tall through the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale to twist towards the right, opening the front of the right shoulder. Gently engaging the belly towards the spine, pressing the left hand on the outside of the right thigh. Couple more deep breaths. As you're ready, we're going to take that right arm up and over, crossing the elbows one on top of each other. Draw up the chin in towards the chest as you round your spine. So here, let your spine really round, really, really heavy with your head. Pull the hands against the knees, elbows are straight. Couple more deep breaths here, lengthen. One more breath. And then as you're ready, lifting your hands up off your knees and 
bringing your left fingers in front of the right palm. Root down through the sit bones, lift up tall through the crown of the head, we're an eagle. So left fingertips in front of the right palm, elbows crossed one on top of each other, stretching into the shoulders. Breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. One more breath. And reaching the fingertips up, inhale, exhale. Take the arms wide and behind you. Have your fingertips pointing in towards your bottom. As you place your feet flat to the floor, hip distance apart, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the hips up, press into your feet, squeeze your glutes, only release your head back if it's comfortable on your neck. Press into your hands, press into your feet, lifting your hips, lifting your bum. One more breath. And chin towards the chest. Exhale to slowly lower, left shin in front of the right. Switching sides, right hand onto the left knee, left fingertips behind you, root through the sit bones and exhale, twist to the left. Deep in the breath, open the front of the left shoulder. Keep the chin between the two collarbones. Press the right hand outside of the left knee. As you're ready, taking that left arm up and over, crossing the elbows, chin towards the chest and around the spine. Heavy with the head. Pull the shoulders away. Creating space between the vertebrae. Relax the head even more. One more breath. And then lifting your hands up of your knees, left elbow stays crossed on top of the right, bringing the right hand in front of the left palm, the eagle. Find the right height to have your elbows, to have your hands, however get, gets you the best stretch into your shoulders. Breathing. And inhale, reaching the arms, exhale, burst the arms wide and take your hands behind you. Again, tabletop. Feet press into the earth, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then lift the hips, only dropping the head back if it feels comfortable in your head. Neck, press into the feet, lift those hips, squeeze the shoulder blades together. One more breath. Now, as you come down, chin towards your chest, bend your elbows, lower your bottom right next to your heels. So you've got your chin in towards your chest, Slowly, you lower your bottom right next to your heels. Should give you quite a nice stretch into your shoulders. One more breath. And then let one elbow, the other elbow come down and lie all the way onto your back. Feet are still flat to the floor, knees pointing to the ceiling, arms by your side. Inhale. As you exhale, taking the hips up, bringing the arms next to the ears. Inhale, press the feet down, lift the hips up. Exhale, begin to roll, vertebrae by vertebrae, tucking the tailbone as you slowly roll down. And inhale to float the arms back by the side. Again, so the exhale, take the hips up, take the arms next to the ears. Press the feet down, inhale. Exhale, slowly rolling, vertebrae by vertebrae, tuck your tailbone as you slowly, slowly, slowly roll down. And inhale, bring the arms back by the side. We're gonna do that one more time. Exhale, lift the hips, take the arms next to the ears. Inhale, lift higher. Keep the arms as they are as you exhale, roll vertebrae by vertebrae, take your time. Slowly, slowly down. And inhale to float the arms by the side. Yeah, this time we're keeping the arms down by the side. We're lifting back up into bridge. This time interlacing our fingers under our back, walking the shoulder blades in towards each other, 
drawing the baby fingers down towards the earth as we press through the heels, lift up through the hips, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other, drawing the baby fingers down. A couple more breaths. One more breath here. Feet pressed down, hips lift up. And under your hands as you exhale, roll slowly, 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 slowly down. And feel the length of your spine as you reach the bottom, breathe in, breathe out. As you're ready, we're going to take it over onto our belly. So we're rolling over onto our bellies. And we're going to bring the hands alongside the torso. The palms are facing in towards us. Inhale, lifting the head and shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. You can lift your legs as well, or you can keep the feet down, whatever feels better. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, reaching the fingertips back towards the heels. Keep the neck in line with the spine so you're looking down. One more breath, lift a little higher. And exhale to release down. Pause, just breathe in, breathe out. Now we're going to take the forearms onto the mat in front of us, the forearms onto the mat, and have your left fingertips towards the right as you bring your right heel towards you and bring your right hand behind you. So you're just propped up now on your left forearm. Bring your right heel in and see if you can bring the outside of the heel to the outside of your right hip. If you've got the flexibility through the wrist and the shoulder, you can, this is a bit of a tricky one, so don't worry if you don't get it today. So you can turn your fingers to face the same direction as your toes and your elbow points up towards the ceiling. You have to start with your palm against the big toe side of your foot and then you turn your fingers the same way as your toes and the elbow pops up to the ceiling. <laughs> it takes a moment to work it out. Press that right heel down, stretching into the quad. One more breath. Slowly releasing. As you're ready, we're switching to that other side. So prop yourself up onto your right elbow. Bring your left heel in. Reach around, take a hold with the left palm to the big toe side of your left foot. If you want, you can spin your fingers to face forward and your elbow to point up. Either way, we're stretching into the thigh, stretching into the quad, especially if you run or you do any sort of high impact exercise, the quads can often be pretty tight. Whilst in daily, daily movement, we might stretch out the hamstrings or something by putting on shoes or, or tying up a shoelace or picking up something from the ground. It's not so common that we get the opportunity to stretch the front of the thighs and then as you're ready release and then bring your forehead back to the floor just pause breathe in breathe out okay we're going to do this a couple of times so don't worry if the first time you're a little bit lost but on our inhale we're going to bring the heels in towards our bottom exhale to take our hands around the ankle bones inhale to lift the knees, the thighs, the head, the chest. This is bow pose. Exhale to release everything down. Okay, so we're doing that a couple of times. So there are four parts to the breath, four parts to the movement. Inhale, heels to bottom. Exhale, hands to ankles. Inhale, bow pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades and reach the feet up and back. Exhale, relax everything. Keep going. Inhale, heels. Exhale, hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, heels. Exhale, hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep going. Heels. Hands. Lift. And release. Couple more. So the key here is that the legs are lifting you up. The feet are reaching up and back. 
That's what's lifting your head, your chest. Your elbows are straight. It's the legs that are lifting the torso. One more time. This time we're gonna hold it a couple of breaths. Come on up and hold. Reach the feet up and back. Two more breaths. Up and back. And exhale, relax. Good. Turn the head to one side. Breathe in, breathe out. I know you're glad you came this morning. <laughs> you're not regretting it now. Turn the head to the other side. Breathe in, breathe out. And as you're ready, we're going to take the hands under the shoulders, lifting up onto our hands and knees. Tuck your toes so that you're sitting your bottom back onto your heels. Just be mindful of your knees. So we're coming with the right hand onto the right heel as we press the hips forwards and bring the left arm by the left ear. Hips press forward, heart lifts up. Exhale to lower your bottom down. Left hand to the left heel, press the hips forwards, bring the right arm by the right ear. Exhale to lower. Take your time. Hips press forwards, heart lifts up as you inhale. Exhale to lower your bottom to your heels. Inhale, hips forward, heart up. Exhale. Squeeze the glutes. Try to keep your arm close in towards your ear. So rather than letting the arm go too far out to the side, keep your chest turning upwards towards the ceiling. Your arm up. Last one. Hips forwards, hips forwards, squeeze those glutes, no pain in the lower back. And come down, untuck your toes and sit your bottom to your heels. Just breathe in, breathe out for a breath. Good, we're going to walk it forwards onto our hands and knees. Engaging the belly to the spine, taking the right leg back behind you, bending your right heel. Reaching your left arm forward and take your left hand to take a hold of that right big toe side of the foot. Right big toe side of the foot. And like we did in bow pose, lift that foot up, up, up. Keep the chest facing forward, the shoulders square. Keep lifting the foot, lift the heart, bringing the head towards the foot and the foot towards the head. One more breath, pressing into your right palm. Exhale to release. Circle the hips out one direction. And circle the hips out the other direction. And coming back to center, switching sides, extend the left leg behind you. Bring the left heel in, reach the right arm forward, reach round, take a hold of the big toe side of the left foot. Lifting the left foot up, up, up. Keep the chest facing forward. Keep lifting, keep reaching, breathe. Press your foot into your hand, one more breath. And exhale to release. Get spread the fingers, tuck the toes, reach up and back down with facing dog. Let one knee bend, let the other knee bend, just stretch out for a moment. And then walking your feet forwards towards your hands, just for a moment, soften into your forward fold, bend your knees a little. Ribs towards the thighs, hang the head heavy. One more deep breath. And then bend your knees, chin to chest, rolling up the vertebrae by vertebrae. When you reach the top, begin to circle the arms, inhale up and exhale back. And then switching directions, inhale up and exhale down. Great, one more. And release the arms down. So we've got one last little challenge for this morning. So 
I'll show you first, because if you're not familiar with Dancer, it's going to be tricky to do it at the same time. If you are familiar with Dancer, then you can come with me. So you're going to bring your right heel in towards your bottom, circle your right arm back. And like we just did when we were on our knees, you're taking the big toe side of your right foot, bringing your left arm by your left ear. We're going to lift the right foot up, up, up. And we're not dropping the chest too far down because it's eventually, one day, maybe in a couple of decades, maybe our foot and our head can meet. That's the direction that we're wanting to work towards. So lifting that foot up, 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 not dropping the chest too low because we want to bring the head to the foot and the foot to the head. One more breath. And slowly release. Take a breath in and out. Let's try the other side. You circle the left arm back so the palm is facing out. Take a hold of the big toe side of the foot. Square your hips. And then we're taking the right arm by the right ear. Keep a little softness through the right knee. Don't lock out into the joint. And then lifting the left foot up, up, up. Whilst trying to keep the shoulders squaring forwards. Whilst trying to bring the head to the foot and the foot to the head. I know, this is a challenge for a Monday morning. Breathe, one more breath, you can do it. And slowly release. Great, nice. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, chin towards the chest. Rolling back down into your forward fold. Take a moment again to soften the knees, relax the head. One more deep breath. Walk your hands forwards and your feet back, downward facing dog. We're going to bring the right knee forward to pigeon. So right knee to the right wrist. Left leg out, straight back behind you. So the higher up the mat you bring that right foot, the stronger the stretch is going to be. Keep your hips square. There should be no pain in the right knee. The stretch should be through the right glute. Come forwards to your elbows, or you can release your forehead all the way down, as you like. See what feels best. But no pain in the right knee. Just stretching into the glute, the buttock, cover. More deep breaths in before and out for four. And then you can stay here if that's enough for you this morning, or walk your hands back in. Stay as you are and bring your left heel towards your bottom. Circle around with your left hand again to the big toe side of that left foot. See if you can bring your heel in closer towards you. You might even be able to get that elbow around the left foot. Keep the hips square, the shoulders facing forward. And if you really want a little more of a challenge, your right arm reaches up and you join your fingers behind you. But that might be too much for this morning, so no worries if that's not, not happening now. Wherever you're at, one more deep breath. And then slowly unwind, downward facing. And just take a breath in. Take a breath out. We're bringing the left knee forward to the left wrist, pigeon. The higher up you bring the left foot, the stronger the stretch. Straight back leg, straight right leg. Shoulders down and as you're ready, lowering to the elbows or releasing the forehead down. Breathing deeply, a couple of deep breaths, stretching into this left glute, the left outer hip. No pain in the knee. 
Hips stay square so we're not leaning to one side. Shoulders relax, breathe in for four. Breathe out for four. As you're ready, slowly walking the hands back in, bringing the right heel towards your bottom. If you like, you can skip this part. Take the right hand around to your left, uh, your right big toes, and bring your heel in towards you, just as far as you can manage. Maybe you can bring the elbow around the foot. And breathe. One side might feel tighter than the other. If you want, you can take your left arm up, bringing the fingertips to join behind the back of the head, keeping the hips square, keeping the shoulders turning forward. Wherever you're at, one more breath. Slowly to release. And down with facing dog. Take a deep breath, inhale. Open the mouth in a big sigh. Lower your knees to the ground and reach your bottom back to your heels, knees together or apart for child's pose. Relax your forehead down. Let your bottom sink back towards your heels. Release your forehead into the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out. So whatever else happens today, you've already shown up for yourself. You've already come to challenge yourself. You've already got uncomfortable. You've already made great decisions. So very, very good start to your Monday. Slowly rolling up through the spine. And you can stay kneeling or you can come cross leg, whatever feels best. Circle the shoulders just a few times down the back. And then very slowly, very gently circle the head one way. And slowly and gently circle the head the other way. And as you're ready, bringing your head back to center. Inhale, take the arms up, the shoulders down. Exhale, the hands together at the heart, bowing the head, reminding yourself of all that you have to be grateful for, including your body and everything that it does for you. And even if some of today was a little challenging or you felt like you couldn't, couldn't do it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I want to focus on all the good, not worry about what hasn't worked, what hasn't happened. That will, that will all come. So just giving thanks for all that you have to be grateful for. And then body that can walk and talk and hear and see is a great blessing. Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday morning. Have a great day.